Ain't nothing like being on the bayou early in the morning. Good gumbo today would be good too. Real good Louisiana virgin sweet potatoes. Along the winding bayous of New Iberia, Louisiana, Richard and his brother Craig are mashing in three barrels of a coveted sweet potato liquor recipe they plan to run on their new submarine pot still. I had the chance to visit my buddy Tickle in Virginia. How do you like his little setup? Oh, no, this is the still site. That flavor profile's really gonna come through. I'll drink to that. They showed me a submarine still setup. So the bigger pot, I can't wait to get it right here. I already have visions of it. I've never run a submarine set up before. It'll up our volume so good. And this potato vodka, everybody in their grandmother's been asking for this, so we need to get a whole lot of this out. We got about 150 pounds of sweet potatoes. Try to experiment with all kinds of liquor. I don't want to limit myself to the norm. We just finished up doing the run among EAT. It was a hit. Same thing with cotton candy. Because our customers want to try different varieties. The slower you cook it, the better it gets. We use a real good sweet potato. We also use a dehydrated cranberry. We use a Carolina Gold Grain, and I use a malted barley. The outcome was just unreal, man. I got a million people asking for this stuff. We ought to have some help here in a minute. Robert always comes through for us. Robert is my brother-in-law, real good guy. Never lets me down with anything. Oh, Rob's here. Hey, what's up, man? Robert ended up here because we needed help. We on potato duty, huh? Yeah. It smells good. Craig, grab me that bag of cranberries. I got them. Real good compliment to the potatoes, the Carolina Gold, the malted barley. The cranberry kind of stands as a buffer in between all of these ingredients. All of these different flavors that you would not normally taste kind of just marries them together and makes them sit together real well. What we got on temperature, Craig? I just hit 177. When you're dealing with sweet potatoes, at 177, those enzymes start to release themselves from the potato. That enzyme turns complex starches into simple sugars, sugars that are fermentable. See how the color changed in the water? Mm -hmm. We're gonna drop the malted barley in here. This has a real good chocolate flavor. Looks just like coffee, kind of makes you think it's coffee. This grain, this Carolina gold that we're putting in here, this is double milled. This is gonna make a big difference. We're gonna put five pounds in here. Now we can't stop stirring. It will scorch, it will burn. The grains that we put in were able to start working and breaking up themselves, breaking up some of the flavor and emitting their own enzymes. Guys, I think this is ready, man. I'm gonna get this barrel right here. Go ahead and pour it straight in there. We normally make sweet potato on a smaller scale, but this will be the first time that we're doing it on a large scale. This is a real good yeast. We're gonna get the party started. We're gonna cap it up, do it again. We have a lot of orders coming in. We just kind of put it out there in the wind to a couple of people and it spread like wildfire. The slower you cook it, the better it is. It smells great. It looks so good. I think if anybody were to walk up on it, they would think we were cooking a good stew out here. This will be the last one. That's gonna make one hell of a sweet potato product. I relate everything to life, and I can relate this alcohol to a perfect marriage. We got 150 gallons. Because these ingredients are gonna produce a perfect offspring, a beautiful baby moonshine. There you go. Make sure it can't be seen on the bayou. Come on, man. We're gonna head to the supply store to make the submarine still. I finally got a phone call. I talked to the sales rep, and he has the copper that I need. Cause we gotta get these orders out. It's so important that we get this right. We only get one shot at this. If this was metal, I could weld something onto it. If I could weld something on the wood, I wouldn't be standing right here right now. I'd be on an island I can't pronounce. With a woman I can't talk to. Can't talk to? And a drink I'm scared of. We want to make sure that this thing is solid. This wood's expensive. I don't want to mess it up. I'm going to put this same system into play that I learned from them up there in Virginia. As much as I've been given by other people, I understand what this community is and what it really stands for. That's a tight-knit group, a tight family structure in this moonshine community. Who showed you how to do that? Mr. Henry Law. Man forgot more about alcohol than I'll ever know, probably. It looks like sweet money. That's what I need. <laughs> right now, we're making sure both sides of the steel are the same. We're using one side to make the other side. Everything will match up perfectly. Here in Louisiana, it's new. I've never seen anybody do it. My mom always told me if you build a better mousetrap, the world will be the path to your doorstep. Oh, how you looking there? Yeah, Gotta bag right it up, son. We're gonna do a zigzag pattern. Instead of having nails just side by side, we're staggering them out. We're giving some strength to it. It's not just for aesthetics, it's for safety also. We're trying to make this deal as strong as humanly possible. Wow. Yeah. Man, we look like the boys from up north in the woods with their submarine steel. With this submarine setup, it's gonna benefit us all across the board. We're not far from home now, so 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna take a shot of something tonight. We gotta get this done. We finished working on this submarine still. We got a bad rainstorm right now. We're gonna go ahead and run right here. Oh yeah, it smells good. It's ready to run. All right, I'll get the pump. We're running it on a brand new steel we've never run before, and we're running the volume that we've never run before. There we go. I'm getting nervous. This is a large pot. We were talking a lot of alcohol in this pot. It's a dangerous substance. Leaking alcohol, a lot of this thing is wasting money, but most of all, it's dangerous. We want to go home at the end of the night. It's not something you want to just take lightly. You have to be cautious around this stuff. Our worm barrel, man, is leaking. It's the first run with this thing. I mean, it was bound to have some problems. I know that this barrel hasn't had water in a, in a very long time, and that's just not good. We got to tighten it back up because when we took the top off of this barrel, we loosened these staves up. Look at that. It allowed the barrel to leak. So we're doing a little impromptu job. And I think that's as tight as we're going to get it. And this barrel's been around since probably my grandparents. This is paying homage to the guys in the old days. <laughs> to be able to just put barrels to submarine stills, that's awesome to me. I mean, just to see how big this thing is as compared to what we dealt with before. Oh, those heads are starting to burn off now. I was told, I always leave the cap off in the beginning. Let the steam come out. That's what would be caught up in your heads. Running the heads out of the top of the pot before you put the cap on is the same thing as running it through your system. You got to paste up this real good. There's no such thing as too much of this stuff. It's getting warm up here. It won't be long now. It's time to get some of this money back. It's getting there. Everything's looking good. It's hot. We don't have any leaks anywhere. It's waiting for the drip. Hey, man, we running. That's what we're looking for right there. This still got a nice flow. I got to taste this, man. How is it? Ooh, that sweet potato, man. It's like a sweet potato pie. This is out of the yeah, park, man. Good. Taste that multi ball, hint of that cranberry. This right here is what we've been trying to achieve right here. Putting this together, coming out a new steel, a new worm. This is awesome. We're going to make money with this. Yeah, that's a good 165 yeah, right there. Well, with this big thing right here, we can do anything we want. The possibilities are endless, man. You know, I have aspirations for this steel. This steel is a huge investment, but we're expecting huge payoffs. We're going to push this steel just as much as we push ourselves. Come on, let's do a toast. Toast to us. To the ones before us. Because if they had never did this, we'd never be able to do it. I love it, I love it.